Oh, what are we gonna do for the intro again? Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. In last episode, we built this built-in, which was kind of hard. Oh no, it's not a built-in, it's a Murphy bed. Oh yeah. Come back for the intro. Oh, dang it. Today we're gonna make built-ins on either side of our Murphy bed, and I think they're gonna be easier than this was. It's, it's, we're starting at eight o'clock at night, so I hope it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> This design looks really familiar because I've already watched episode one of this project. <laughs> but in this one, we are going to be use some flat pack bookshelves from Lowe's and then trim them out to make DIY custom built-ins. Did you say we're going to be used? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be used. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is add. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're gonna be putting some cabinets right here. But like the location of them needs to kind of be fixed. And there's nothing to really attach them to since they're gonna be floating in the middle of all of this. They won't be touching this wall. They won't be touching this wall. They won't be touching this. So we're gonna add some framing to this area so that we have something to attach them to. Yeah. The first thing that we gotta do is build the cabinet. So let's do that. Oh! Hey, we could just be done now. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. So the other benefit of adding these framing pieces is it gives us something to attach our trim pieces to. Instead of trying to nail it into this little three quarter inch area, we have a whole two by four. All right, so it's really secure right now. And using these metal brackets helped out a lot because it lets us screw in from this direction as opposed to this way because getting screws that go through a two by four into the wood behind would have been a little bit crazy. So you might remember last time we cut a hole in the back of the Murphy bed so that we would still have access to an outlet. And instead of just leaving that outlet available, it's not that available because it'll be kind of like behind the bed and the pillows and we want to be a little bit fancy. So we want to add outlets Right there. <laughs> so, could you give me a level? Yes. Two levels? You just, can see. just in case. There. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, dang it. Does that fit at all? No. Uh, plan B. Does this fit? <laughs> it did it! Yes! <laughs> Yay! Instead of going into the wall and tying into some of the power in there, we're gonna use this appliance replacement cord. It has the wires exposed, and you can use the traditional wall hardware. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, but it's gonna be easy too. That's how one jinxes themselves. Hey! Look at that. What, you look at that. Oh. Whoa. What'd you look at? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> this, this, this got squished. Oh. <gasps> it's because we, we slammed it in there. Maybe we continue that pattern. I wonder <laughs> if we can just like no! force this in too. I feel uncomfortable with this decision. <laughs> <laughs> ah! It mostly worked. Uh, <laughs> no? Did I, did I get the wrong thing? Did we not screw it in enough? Did I get the wrong box? Did I get the wrong cover? No, the cover's right. Just start everything over. Just tear down Scrap the Murphy. Scrap the whole thing. Scrap the whole thing. Okay. 
You were right. <laughs> Note to self, these don't, like these are supposed to be the fancier ones. Yeah, what the heck? That like snap on, but they just don't like cover your mistakes as well. <laughs> <laughs> now to get that outlet box all working, we just need to plug this in right there. We need to go through this wall. It would have been nice to uh, drill this hole. Oh God. <laughs> what? Why are you going underneath it? Because it's better. Why can't you go above the bed? I don't know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this would be easier, but uh, this. That would just be easier. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, it does fit. I didn't think it fit. <laughs> oh, geez. This is pretty bad, too. I'm just like bracing it in a very awkward way. Let's see if this works. So, oh. <laughs> so we don't just have like a raw hole in our nice Murphy bed. We're gonna attach this, what would you call this? A cap portal. <laughs> a cap portal? We're just gonna pop this guy in. I can't see it. Here, go, go over to the other side. Stand, stand on the bed. Stay, stand in the middle. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Um, just sit there and then put your other foot in the middle. All right. So glad I'm getting this amazing shot. Through here and uh, right into uh, there. And now we should have power right there. Should we test it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah! Look at that. Welcome to Evan and Caitlin's Airbnb. Do you love the smell of popcorn burnt wood? <laughs> the aesthetic of raw beams, raw beams exposed, artisan quality. We have one lamp. And the, the newest craze, sleeping on slats. Oh, it's, Good for your back? <laughs> it's, it's so comfortable. You don't even need pillows. <laughs> uh, safety straps. <laughs> so you can strap yourself in so you don't roll around in your sleep. <laughs> Five stars! Day. It was a good day. It's the end of day two. I don't know why I'm putting up one finger. Because it's merged into one day. <laughs> it is midnight. Signing out for now. That was really lame. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> But one thing I just realized, we're about to be adding trim right here. This one's good, it has these two points. This one, we're just gonna be attaching it in here and there's nothing to prevent this from swiveling in. Not at the top, not at the bottom. Oh, we gotta add another two by four. We gotta add another two by four, but I bet if we just like do a little snap, we could just have it done. Wow, yeah, look oh, that at that. Works. I guess, uh, I guess it's time to add the trim. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, quick question. This is kind of bowing out a little bit there. Do you think that the, the nail gun will be enough? Oh yeah! <laughs> that holds it. <laughs> you and I will be good friends. Guess our walls are crooked. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, looks like a really crappy job. 
But that is where caulking and painting comes in. <laughs> Hide all of our mistakes. Now he's gonna do that a hundred more times. <laughs> Man, it feels like this has been such a journey to get here. It's finally here, and I'm so happy. What do you think I put in those baskets? 3D printing accessories? Or? Yes! <laughs> All the 3D printing accessories are now in the basket. That looks a lot nicer than just piled literally on the floor. <laughs> I put out a video every week, and we hope to see you then. Bye! Bye! It was hard last time. <laughs> We'll start with the baseboards. We'll start with the baseboards. We'll start with the baseboards. <laughs> I think that's, I think, I think, I think that. What are we gonna start with? <laughs> Am I doing the thing with my eyebrows? You're doing something. <laughs> <laughs>